It's this box that's hanging in the centre. That box is the counterweight, the ballast, the source of our energy for our siege machine. That counterweight box weighs one ton when it's empty. What we have done is placed a further 400, sorry, four and a half tons of rocks and rubble inside. So, you are witnessing four people lifting away to five and a half tons. Incredible, a feat in medieval engineering. The arm approaches the back and is locked in with a hook, passing through an eyelet on the throwing arm. This is our release mechanism. A pin and a chain are placed inside, which locks the arm down. At this time, the job of the trebuchet is closed. Right. What's going on? We appear to be under attack. A small Yorkist force is at the end of the island with one cannon. That was too close. Trebuchet master, launch the trebuchet! Get those riders in the wheels! The job is not over just yet. We cannot shoot our machine yet. The rope used to pull down the throwing arm and lift up the counterweight has now wrapped itself around that central axle. If the trebuchet master was to pull the trigger with that rope around the axle, this machine would be destroyed. The axle would be torn from the heart of the machine, thrown out to the back, killing everybody inside this machine, including me. Now, we only have one winder in each wheel now. As you can see, two winders have stepped out of each wheel. They are operating the brake at the front. There is only one winder needed in this case. They're not lifting any weights. They're getting rid of the rope that is wrapped around the central axle, making sure that Ursa has a free-flying arm. Only one winder is needed because there's no weight to lift. But the problem is, these wheels could start freewheeling. If that happens, the winder inside is going to fall and topple around inside that wheel, breaking every single bone in their body. We cannot have that. We need these soldiers. We need to drive them on. Let's give the Warwick Castle war cry of the Warwick to Warwick. A Warwick to Warwick! Join with me. A Warwick to Warwick! Faster! Can these wheels go down faster, Trebuchet Master? Of course. These wheels, with these lights, cause extreme discomfort for the winders inside. The outer slats will cause a flickering of light flashing in the winders' eyes. This brings on trebuchet sickness. The flashing brings on dizziness and they can throw up inside that wheel. It's not a good idea throwing up in an environment when the floor becomes the ceiling over and over again. It will coat the inside of the wheels, putting this machine out of action. We cannot have that. We need this machine to shoot. The winders are going extremely fast. The rope is almost gone. Master, fire 
Christ.